Welcome back to the channel. I have got a lot of packing to do today and I've got some nitty bitty pieces like Instagram sales I've got to try to remember to get packed today as well. So I'm hoping this video holds me accountable so I don't forget. I recently ran 65 auctions to be separated over the next few days as 15 listings per day and then 10 on the end I think or something like that. And yesterday was the end of one of the first days so we've got today, tomorrow, the next day and I think the next day of auctions ending. So I've got a lot of things to pack, plus all the buy it nows as well. Selling stuff's great until you've got to pack it. I challenge anybody to find me somebody that loves packing. I'm sure they're out there somewhere, but they're not here. They are not here. So you can't have your cake and eat it. Do you know what? I still don't understand that expression fully. Can't have your cake and eat it. But what's the point in having a cake then? Or was that the whole idea? Because birthdays you buy the cake for other people but you're not really buying it for then why do you bring cakes to work for other people you can't have your cake and eat it it must relate to the fact that the cake isn't for you it's for everybody else but then why do they give it to you and let you blow out the candles not that i blow out candles i think it's disgusting i wave my hand across it <laughs> and anybody who blows on a candle i'm not having a slice anyway now we've deciphered the world's riddles let's get to work shall we and actually do something because going to be a long day and I've just seen one of the Instagram sales so that's a nice reminder. Let's get to it. We are currently live again. I think it's a nice little way just to chit chat and get through the day. We've got some orders to pick so I'm going to pick those now quickly. We've got some of the worst auctions now. These are, I started most of my stuff at £2 starting bid and some of these went for £2 starting bid. They all had free 50 postage I believe so we've got some of back. These are Gallery of London buttons. They go for like suits and stuff you tie them on. Starting bid of £2, sold for £2, with £3.50 postage. I know a lot of you want me to do this on my Ricky Resales channel, my Ricky Resold channel. Cut. I know a lot of you want me to do this on my Ricky Resold channel, but truth is, it just works quicker on here, and I'm working on something for that channel anyway, so stay tuned. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go check the links out down below, and you can see the channel and be there for when the changes happen. Williams slot car, untested, unchecked. However, I have been told of a tip to do it. If I can remember before the video ends, I'll tell you how to do it. I've just remembered right now, actually. You get a square battery and you put it onto the ribbons below or something and it spins the wheels. I haven't tried it yet, see if it works, but apparently it does. Achieve bids of seven pounds. Very, very, very can cheap. Set of three Gucci boxes, sold for three pounds 21. Again, they're just boxes, and it's quite a, good, quite a cheap deal as well, to be fair. Look at you lot with the backstage access, look. Oh my goodness. It's like when DVDs used to do outtakes, isn't it? <laughs> Amazing jumper. Thank you, Josephine. Oh yeah, I need to remember, because I've, I've done a Timu order. I'm doing a Timu video, I need to remember. You're doing a Timu video. Great segue, actually. And I think I've got the perfect boxes to send these in. Today's video is sponsored by Timu. There is a link in the description down below and the pinned comment for you to go and check out the site for a hundred pound coupon site wide. When Timu first reached out to sponsor a video of mine, I thought, great, I can show the resellers some stuff that they can buy and get it all. Unfortunately, that's all I could think of for you guys to buy was in the first video. So obviously as standard, we've got boxes. I love the boxes, you can't go wrong with them. Bubble mailers, all those types of things. So this time instead I thought, what do I need around the house? I knew that I needed some cereal boxes, so I went ahead and got some of those because the old ones are cracked and smashed and we kicked those out the door and got some brand new ones in and they're looking sweet. Jess wanted a nice coffee cup which stirs itself because she is lazy. So we picked her one of those up as well. Nice little golden one. I can't open it and show you because it's for her, but I've seen these in action. The reviews are fantastic. There must be a reason why she wants it. How many times have you got a keyboard or something dirty that you need to clean and you just can't get in there? It's got a vacuum on it, but also you turn it on the back and it's got a blower so you can get into the keys. Blower on the back, sucker on the front. What more can you want? And I wear this beanie more than I wear a smile. So as you know, it probably gets a little bit bobbly. Well, it did get a little bit bobbly, so I picked up a debobbler as well. And this is how it worked. Fantastic piece of kit. And the hat looks brand new again. A few people in the chat have asked me where I got this jumper from as well because of the Sherpa. It runs straight through to the bear. So you've got the teddy bear material, which runs into the arm. And if you wear, if you wear it properly, it almost looks like you're giving someone a cuddle. Timu, mate. It's fantastic. I've never seen anything like it before, so I picked it up. I like different. I also picked up a pair of panda shoes. I'll show you these here. They are big, fat, cozy house slippers. I'm actually going to be gifting these to Charlotte, even though she stole my man. 
but she can have them. They're a bargain. Monday is always the busiest day for me for work because when you come home after the weekend, especially after being away for a weekend break with a family, you get so much that you need to catch up on and do. So I've taken full advantage of this on Timu and I've managed to grab myself a pillow and a leg support. Now, when I'm in bed, I like to have my knees raised. When I went for an MRI scan once, the nurse and the lady there said, would you like a pillow for under your knees? And I looked at her bewildered and was like, what? What do I need a pillow for under my knees? And then she did it and I, re I realised why. Taking that little bit of weight off the bend of your knees is fantastic and I've been addicted to that ever since and now I can't sleep without a pillow underneath my legs. So when I saw this foam roller one, I thought I'll have a bit of that. Thank you, Timu. And a first aid kit, because the other day my finger split open on its own. No idea how I did it. And I had no plasters. So I had to get one of those as well. It's like two quid. Well, anyway, time to get back to work. So these parcels ain't gonna pack themselves, but I do have plenty of boxes. Don't forget to check out the link down below in the description for your unique 100 pound site-wide discount code. And also you can check the pinned comment in the chat. Back to work. Ikea Poodle, sold for £9.50, free postage. Rue Molly, vintage board game, but it's never been used. It's opened, but all the parts are still pushed together. Never heard of this game before ever in my life. Looks very, very boring, if I'm honest. Sold for £14.24 all in. Pick these up, so I might as well do it. Head Ice Skates, zero laces, lots of blade. <laughs> sold for £29.99. pence. I guess they're all right. Right, what's next? Box P, box P, box three. Box three's down here, I know that. Focus on the stuff we can find and we worry about the stuff we can't after. And I'm still recording, but that's a waste of memory. Next up is the Bose Soundwave AV dock thingy me bob jiggy jiggy. I listed it up for £19.99. If you remember, I was on a live stream, we was going through it together and it wasn't working, the CD wasn't playing. In fact, it was missing a laser. So I broke it apart and said, you can still get money for these two. £19.99. I've listed the Bose for £49.99 as spares or repairs. And I think it will sell. I'll take an offer, of course. The TP link that I, again, on the same live stream, I do believe, went through. I said it was worth about £18. Listed it for £19.99. Took an offer of £15 all in. Do you guys remember the live stream on this one? I'm sure you do. How are you, Lucy? Anyway, you okay, my darling? Everyone all right? If I haven't missed anybody, a hello goes out to everybody. A, blank, a blanket hello. I'm still recording. Next up, we have a Peco's double zero gauge train. I think it's a tunnel and walls and bridges and things like that. Sold for £9.49 all in. And we've sold the second mini brass frame. This one has no glass. The last one had chipped glass. Sold for £12.99 free postage. Another one that we processed together on a live stream. When I opened it, it looked relatively new inside. It still had stickers on the front. We tested it online on that gamepadtester.com website. Everything was checked out perfect. It's in fantastic condition. I listed it for, I think, £89.99 just to get some offers out there. And I had an offer of £80. So this is gone, but £80. Free postage. I think everything at the moment is free postage apart from my auctions. I'm trialling something out. Operation, get some money back after a dreadful week. And then we've sold this, which I forgot was listed. I reduced loads of stuff, sent loads of bulk offers out, and I sent an offer out on this one, and it sold. And I say it's like not worth it because it sold for £22.50, and it's free postage. And I've got to wrap that. I've got to fill it all with paper, make sure that everything is perfect. I've got to worry about it. I was just seeing if it smelled of anything. I've got to worry about it getting there. Not that I'm going to worry about it, but I'm going to bomb-proof this one again like I did with the Le Creuset, and hopefully it'll be fine. I'm sure it will, but I'd rather go through that effort and stress for 50, 60 quid, not 20 quid free postage. But we live and we learn. I forgot I had it listed still. Oh well. Right, that's a fair chunk of packing done. We've got a few bits in there now. Moving on to some more bits. I'll show you what they are. What's up? Right, so this is a what? I hate saying right first. This is a Waddington's Science set, I believe from the 60s or 70s. Loads of bits in there, dead bees, bugs, scorpions, chemicals, all sorts. Sold for £2 plus £3.50 postage. We just call that stock clearing, don't we? Space Hotel Clock, bought this for myself, but I don't ever look at it. Like I've said before, I always check my phone immediately. So that's pointless, really. So it's got a nice sort of almost swooping action on the second hand so for 15 pound free postage i've had loads of offers on that since i listed it the geo safari stuff from 1990 this has sold mega mega cheap in my opinion it sold for 25 pound plus 350 postage easy 100 pound here especially with all these books for it it is what it is 
and another one listed on the live stream just last Monday, no, last Friday, no, Thursday was it, I think. So I'm talking to the group chat. The group chat, the live stream. Listed this on live, listed it for 69.99, I think. I wanted to go 10 pound under the current market value and I got an offer of 62 pound and took it. It's a caravan camp event thing. Did I pick anything else? Is that it? Right, so we've sold that, which is up here, I think. Where's that? Yeah. Some of you might remember the ambulance helmet that I picked up. I actually put this on bids and annoyingly it didn't sell for anywhere near what it's worth. Sold for £33 plus postage, so about £36.99 all in. It is what it is. Uh, two LED drivers. I'm not going to hold these up for you because they're too big. I'll put a picture up on the screen. We've got the Vintage Crossfire game. It is massive. One of the originals. Sold for £69.99. And the... Resussi Anne has sold on bids for £155 and £11.99 postage. It is massive. I'm not going to pick it up. That is easily a £500 piece of kit there. It wasn't selling for £500, wasn't selling for £400, wasn't selling for £300. So I put it on bids and got half of the £300. It is what it is. Postage, that's going to be a massive, massive, massive nightmare. It's going to wind me up. Just trying to find some other bits to show you that I haven't showed you yet because I can't find them. I'll put a picture up. Plantronics. Wait, what's it called? Plantronics Head Supply, can't find it, but that sold for £13. And a vintage doll, £9.99 free postage, that sold, but I can't find that either. So that's going to be all for today. I'm going to get the rest of this lot packed up and out the door and moved so I can start taking some photos of some stuff because I've got today and tomorrow to clear as much space as I possibly can ready for Wednesday's pickup again. Thank you for watching. If you wouldn't mind liking the video, I'd appreciate that. And if you aren't subscribed, click that button, come and join me. Maybe catch some live streams in the future. Thank you. Bye.